guys, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Um, just got to camp with my buddy Jamie here. Um, we just arrived at camp, and I'm going to turn the camera around here. I'm going to show you what greeted us. So you can see right here that this has happened to me before at this same site, but just showed up to camp, and there's a tree down in the middle of the road, which is awesome. So. Um, just like I did last time, we're gonna hook up a strap to the front of the truck. Unfortunately, I've removed my front recovery strap or points to paint them, and then I've got replacement ones that are set for D-ring for shackles um, instead of the hooks that come on it de by default. So those are off. So I'm gonna figure out another way to hook this thing up. So hopefully, the next video will not be a video of me ripping my bumper off my truck, but we'll see. tree has been defeated you can tell that I'm out of breath uh, this shows how important it is to have a chainsaw so just an axe but hey at least with the axe we had an option we did take care of it, it took a lot of chopping and out of breath but the tree has been moved now we can get to our campsite and start drinking okay. <laughs> everybody we got everything set up at camp so we got chairs out got some beers out unfortunate find the inside of my camp cooking kit apparently I didn't get cleaned out good last time and it was full of mold so we're gonna be boiling a lot of water and cleaning it out tonight before I can use it so that was a fun find um, got a fire going there's Jamie chair um, Jamie's using a tent over here and of course we got the awning out on the Xterra. The table set up underneath of it. All of our cooking essentials, including Pringles, are out over here. Got some ramen, because I'm fancy like that. Um, lantern for later. Stove. And then over here is me. You can see the uh, tarp hammock there with bug net. Hopefully it don't get destroyed by bugs tonight, but we'll see. Um, and then yeah, fire. Um, another funny story, we were just out here getting set up and I was telling Jamie how I've never seen DNR out here like ever in Hoosier National Forest. And uh, probably five minutes later, a US federal forest guy came rolling down the path. Uh, I snapped a picture, which I'll put in the video now as he was leaving, um, but he rolled up asked us how we were doing, said he just saw a kind of a steep path coming up here and saw my truck and wondered how I got up here and just wanted to stop in and say hi. Um, so he came out, <laughs> said hi to us, and then we had to help him get turned around so he could get out of here. Um, but so yeah, that was pretty interesting. So other than that, Fletch here, just hanging out in front of the truck. Um, we are waiting on Jim to get out here. He's another buddy. Um, he's actually part of Midwest Overlanders. He's going to be coming out here in a couple hours. He had to work today, um, but he'll be joining us for this trip. Um, 
So we got the fire going, we have everything set up. We're just waiting on Jim now and uh, we're gonna start drinking. So have a good one.